Hello, hello. May peace and blessings be with you. I hope that you've had a fantastic Sunday. I've had a rough day today. I literally wanted to hide under a rock, but here I am showing up. It's past 10 p.m. Took me a while, but I'm here. I am quite serious about this challenge of showing up online every day, sharing something and sharing how I'm able to help and serve my clients. So since I've had a tough day today, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to talk about handling tough situations in life and business? A few days ago, my older son came home and a few minutes after getting home, he realized that he had lost his iPhone. We kept looking for it and eventually we figured we're not going to find it anymore and might as well just get the child a new phone. And the whole time we were searching for phone, for his phone, he was wanting to help, wanting to look for it. But at the same time, he was quite upset. But he was really upset with himself that he lost the phone. He was constantly blaming himself that it got lost by him. And I was trying to help him, trying to coach him through that. And I could tell how hard it was on him. Interestingly, it was such a pleasant surprise that a week later, we ended up finding it. It's a funny story. I will share that at a different time. But we're grateful that we found his iPhone and everything. But I really learned through this experience that how hard it is for him to forgive himself when he makes mistakes. And when I look more closely, he definitely gets that from me because I think I'm like that as well. And as much as I want to go easy on myself when things go wrong, I am tough on myself. And I think it's also because I do believe in learning from my mistakes so that I don't make those same mistakes again. But at the same time, I can be kinder to myself when that happens, right? I'm certainly a lot kinder to my children and my clients and people around me, but I think it's a lot harder to be kind to ourselves when that happens. So I guess my my message today is a reminder for myself, first and foremost, that I need to be kinder to myself when things happen. And I don't really shy away from challenges. I do embrace them. I do um, look for the opportunity in that. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm struggling, but it's okay. It's just a you know, bump in the road. It'll, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But at the same time, I think I, I know that after I'm done kicking myself and being upset with myself, I know that I will come out the other side being stronger, a lot stronger. And I know that this mistake will not happen again. I'm sure there will be other mistakes that will happen, but this this one will not happen again. And uh, that's okay. So we face this in business pretty much on a daily basis, right? Do you allow yourself kindness and grace to learn from that lesson, from to learn from that mistake and keep on going? I used to, it used to take me a lot longer. The cycle definitely has gotten shortened right? So it doesn't really take me four or five days anymore. A day, maybe two days max, right? And I'm able to come out of it. And what really helps me shift my focus is to really look for what can I do differently going forward, right? What can be done differently going forward? And when I start to think like that, I focus less on the problem and focus more on the solution. And eventually find the courage to forgive myself as well. So it'll happen. <laughs> May take me a day or two, but it'll happen. Okay. So if you're here with me live, say hello. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that how are you handling any tough situations that you may be facing in life or business right now? Are you handling it with grace? Are you giving yourself grace? Are you being kind to yourself or not? I really really, really, really want you to be kinder to yourself. And it's a reminder for me as well that I need to be kinder to myself as well. Um, I'm sure after I go to bed, 
I will feel a whole lot better and tomorrow will be a new day and we'll go at it again. I have a friend with me. A friend, My friend is saying hello. My friend, your name and your photo is not coming through. I think it's StreamYard not recognizing your profile. Okay. So I know I... I'm uh, trying very hard not to cry on live stream because that would be bad. I'm going to choose to laugh instead and, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. We'll get through it. I know I'm probably generating a lot of curiosity as to what happened. I'm not yet ready to talk about it. I will. In due time, I will talk about it. Today, I'm not ready to talk about it because I, like I said, I, I, emotions are pretty raw around it right now. So I need to give it some time. Okay. So talking about handling tough situations. Mm -hmm. Another thing that comes to mind is that do you go after tough problems to solve? Do you go after hard things to solve in life and in business? I really want to encourage you to um, look for the opportunity in that, right? When other people around you may be shying away from taking on that challenge, I want you to raise your hand and say, I got this. I'm going to, I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this because even though you will be uncomfortable in that, you're going to come out stronger and ahead on the other side, right? Every single time. And I, I know that I am very comfortable with uncertain situations. I am, it's, uh, it's scary, right? But at the same time, every single time I try something new, I learn and I grow a lot from that. So I want to just keep on doing that. Even if it, you know, makes me uncomfortable, it's okay. It needs to be discomfort. It does not need to be pain. If you're in pain, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself, right? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, there needs to be a really nice balance, but do attempt hard things, right? Because if, if we don't do that, if we shy away from that, I feel like we stunt our own growth and I don't want you to do that, right? I want you to grow leaps and bounds by taking on challenges and just see what happens. And a lot of times that is my attitude around challenges and problems. I am just trying it just to see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. So as long as I do that and I I literally try to have fun, uh, some some challenges are harder than others. <laughs> it's the, sometimes more challenging to laugh through that, but for the most part, you know, make it fun, make it good, raise your hand and say, I will do that. Even if no one else wants to take that, I will take that opportunity and I'll see what I can do with that. Okay, let's see. Friends, if you would like to work with me, my mastermind is open. It's the Dream Believe Launch Mastermind. I would love to have more amazing souls in that mastermind. It's going really well so far. I am so incredibly grateful that I have five brilliant women in the mastermind and we're adding, adding more for sure. And if you would like to join the party and join the mastermind, I'm going to share the link, which is dreambelievelaunch.com. And if you go here, it'll tell you all about the program. It's a 12-week program where you go from building your lead magnet all the way to launching your first offer, learning from that. And then, you know, you just, we just keep going. And we do that same process three more times this year. So it's a total of four times we're going to go through the 12 week process. So essentially you get to work with me for a whole year. You're going to see a lot of me. We meet at least twice a week where we go over what needs to be done. You make some decisions and we strategize, you know, what needs to be built. And then the next day we talk about the tech behind it, how to build it, how to launch it, all that good stuff. We go into a lot of detail about lead magnets, marketing funnels, sales funnels, email marketing, all that fun stuff, right? We learn a lot. We have lots of fun doing doing this together. And I am so impressed by the answers I have received on uh, the topic of idea clarity, right? So we talked about idea clarity last week in the mastermind. And we had, I had everybody fill out a form and I've received responses from several of the participants already. And they still have time to finish it. And I loved how clear they are on their ideas, right? Even though I think when they look at that, they they likely feel that they're not as clear. But when I am reading that, I see their vision. I can understand where they're going with it. And they were able to outline their value ladder for their ideal clients, right? So how are they going to get them results with their lead magnet? How are they going to get them results with their 
first offer, their mid-tier offer, their high-end offer, and their ultra premium offer, right? So they were able to do that. And it's just so fantastic seeing how clear they are just after one week of uh, being in the mastermind. So we're just going to keep on building on top of that. And uh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be beautiful. We're going to build beautiful, amazing businesses together that are going to create lots and lots of goodness in the world, which is why I do this work, which is why I show up every day and love every minute of it. Okay. If you would like to hop on a call with me to see if this is the best program for you at this time or not, please grab this link, which is techtalkwithtimmy.com slash simplify tech. And we will definitely chat about it. And I will point you in the right direction, whichever program is best for you. If you are in need of an all-in-one platform for your coaching business, I got you. I have my own customized solution called One Tech Coach. I'm trying to see if I even have a link for it. Yes, I do. So if you go to platform.simplifyonething.com, um, you can check out all about the platform. It's an all-in-one. It's built off of Go High Level System, which is a super duper awesome software. And we've done all the customizations for coaches. So essentially you get, when you sign up, you get the end-to-end -end process that coaches can use for launching their business. This really is helping us and enabling us to launch our offers and build our businesses at a very fast pace because a lot of those customizations are already done. So if you are in need of that, please check out this link and I will be back tomorrow. Please send some prayers my way, send some positive energy my way because I definitely, definitely need it. I'm going to try my best to sleep well tonight and hopefully tomorrow is a new day and we'll, we'll tackle it one day at a time. All right, friends, may peace and blessings be with you. Bye.